Hi guys, I'm General Chaos and I'm back with another video. So, uh, today's video is part of my General Chaos Draw series. I'm so glad I'm trying to get back into doing these again because I really do like these. Um, so yeah, today's uh, episode is going to be me attempting to draw Dick Dastardly. So, uh, I just want to say, you know, um, I'm... I'm really sorry it's taken me this long. See, um, I don't know if anyone remembers, I just got done moving house. And what happened was, just after we got done moving house, we didn't have Wi-Fi for, like, a couple of, couple of weeks or so, so I couldn't upload anything. And I really didn't want to use my... And in order to get onto the internet, I was already using data that was on my phone. And and um, I think with... I think with... Um, sorry, I'm trying to concentrate on the... I think with when you when you're downloading videos to YouTube and you're uploading them, it's like you, you know, it's like um, I think it costs too much data. I am really sorry that I'm struggling to get my words out. I just um, oh my god. Make that a bit bigger. Um. So anyway, let's uh. I'm going to talk about Lucky Races, or just any cartoon that Dick Dastardly has ever been in. Um, honestly, I, I still really like Wacky Races, even to this day. I like the concept behind it, you know, I like, you know, the characters behind it, and, you know, it's it's a really, it is a genuinely, like, really cool cartoon to get into, and it's, uh, it's, I've completely screwed this up, haven't I? Um, you know, you've got like the characters, they're like some that's like really memorable, like Peter Perfect and Slag Brothers, and they are just really, really cool characters, you know, in that show. I'm trying to make it look like he's twiddling his moustache. <laughs> just looks like he's. Oh. <laughs> Never mind. Um. Oh, yeah, I just wanted to say as well, um, I know I said, um, about a while ago, I think it was about a year ago now, um, I was going to attempt to do, like, this whole marathon on Lucky Races, Starry Dastardly and Muttley, where I was going to, I was going to try and, like, not only do adventure, but also attempt to do, like, single player and maybe some of the time trials and, you know, stuff like that. Anyway. That's Black Panther, but first, I'm going to attempt to, uh, draw another eye on Sadiq Dastardly. Yeah. I don't know how to colour him in. Um, oh yeah, there was also um, Dastardly and Muttley in their flying machines as well. I really like that cartoon. That was a good one. And um, one thing that really interested me, um, there was another like Wacky Races esque cartoon that Dick Dastardly was in called Fender Bender 500. Um, yeah, he, uh, he appeared in that as well. I probably I know I've talked about it a couple of times in the past, but still a fascinating cartoon, you know? I rather like it. Likes it even. I can't remember if his gloves are uh, white. I don't know. I don't know if I've drawn his head too big. Hmm. Shit. Right. Uh. Oh yeah, I saw something floating around on YouTube. Um, this like pilot for a. For a Wacky Races cartoon, which uh, really, really got me interested because I sat down and watched it one time and I was like, holy, holy shit, this is actually really good. And it was all the way back in 2006 and I was like, oh, I, I wish that Cartoon Network could pick this up. It, was, it just looked, oh, you guys should have seen it, you know, it was like, oh, fuck. Yeah, um. What else can I do? Um. Not to draw his hair. Looks about right, I suppose. I don't know if my parents are coming in, I just found out my brother's still in. Trying to do this while everyone's out. Moved in and my dad was hoping to get us all some like proper curtains for our bedrooms. So yeah. I think I know one way or another I may have drawn this a bit wrong, but... Yeah, nevertheless. 
Atom. What else can we talk about? Um, I honestly don't know. I honestly can't think of anything. And it's not just because I'm trying to colour this in, it's um... I don't... I really don't know, it's like... I suppose the only thing I could really say is um... My next Let's Play is going to be on Spyro 3, Year of the Dragon, you know, just in case none of you guys knew about that just yet, and um... I'm just going to set my PS2 back up, and uh... Yeah, because I've been wanting to do a Let's Play on Spyro Year of the Dragon for like a really long time now. Because it's just, I just think it's... I think it's a good game. I think it's got a lot going for it. Um, one thing I will say that, that I've never really liked about Year of the Dragon. Um, super bonus round. I, I finally got to it because I'd never beaten the game before. Because I got stuck on that uh, Magic Bean challenge on uh, Charmed Ridge. And it was only until I got into college did I finally get to the super bonus round. And I was like, it was alright at first. It was... I just found the final boss to be kind of underwhelming. <sighs> but... Um, I think it was everything I kind of Im I kind of imagined that the super bonus round would be. You know, I was kind of expecting like, you know, more out the you know the characters that you've met you know, during the game, like Agent Nine. Have a, have a level with Agent Nine, then have a level with Sheila the Kangaroo. Have a level with Spyro. Have a level with Bentley. Have a level with Sergeant Bird, and have a level with Hunter. You know, just something like that. But and I I must I must ask, has anyone ever like completed the uh, the Sasquatch Six challenge? You know, there's like that. It's almost like that skateboarding challenge that you had to do on um, Lost Fleet, only it's like a group of yetis and you get like a shit ton of gems afterwards. I, like, that challenge is like... Well, I, I certainly couldn't do it first time, but I needed several tries before I could do that again. I mean, well... Um... What else can we talk about? What does everyone think to Crash Bandicoot and Cern trilogy that Activision is making? What like what does what does everyone think to that? Because uh, I rather I rather like the look of it, you know, because it looks like it's going to be really really good. Um, I'm just I'm still kind of in that stage where I'm kind of worried because you know it's like with Activision they'll I just think they're going to find some way to kind of screw it all up, you know. And I got done watching Caddy Chris's um, like take on it, like what he thought of it. And there was one part of his video that kind of intrigued, it kind of like really interested me. It was when he started saying something about like you know the, you know those like permanent power ups you can win from the bosses in Crash Three. Like what if you could go back to Crash Two and Crash One and use them there? And I like that'd be that, that sounds like a really awesome idea. But at the same time, it's like are you at danger of making Crash One and Two like really easy? But like, I mean, I I could imagine. But like, I can remember playing Crash Two and there were like stages where I'm playing that game and I'd be like, wow, if only this game had a double jump. You know, it's like wow. Um, what else can we talk about? I honestly don't know. Um, there is another Wacky Races game that I did play. It was for the PS1. Um, I thought it was really, really good at the time, but then it's like looking back, I think I wished it had been like a little bit better than what it actually was. Cause it's like I really didn't like how you couldn't unlock all the Wacky Races from the game. I thought that was a bit of a letdown. Um, I also, I also thought some of the some of the tracks were maybe a little bit samey here and there. Um, I mean, don't get me wrong, there's a lot going in the tracks. You know, there's like loads of, you know, there's like you know some really cool parts of the game. Because I mean, it's like, because especially with like down in town, the, the down in tra town tracks where you know the tracks are like in the city. There's always so much going on in those because you can see like trams going around, going into like tunnels and stuff, and you know it feels really open. You know, it almost feels like the the, the place is alive. You know, it's like it's, it's, I think it's nice when stuff like that is, is, in, is in games. You know. And then, fuck. I'm gonna call his shoes in then. Got to do that on my pen earlier. Um, my version of that Wacky Races game for the PS1, because I got it from um, a friend of my dad's, it was like really, because I think it was like a like a pirated copy, you know, so um, it was like really glitchy as hell. Um, there were times when I'd be racing and something would happen, I can't quite remember, but then I'd end up in the background. And, I, and, you know, the arrow that tells you where to go on the track, like, turn left or turn right, that would appear in it. And then you'd hear all these really weird, like, glitched sound effects, and then all of a sudden the race would just end, and the, like, you get, like, uh, where everyone finished in the race, it was just so weird, you know? What colour should I colour Dick Dastardly's face in? 
I forget, I'm going for pink. Yeah, Sleep Dusted Lee is pink. I was thinking about colouring in brown, but I don't know if brown would look right, and I don't know if yellow would just make him look like you from The Simpsons. Which, that's really interested me. How come it's taken so long for The Simpsons to make a reference to Wacky Races? That was something I never got, because when they finally did, there was this really funny, like, um, couch gag, where it, like, um, parodies the opening introduction to Wacky Races. It was really funny. I don't even know if I've coloured it, must have his hair, right? Kind of looks like he just took Waluigi's um, backwards L and then spray painted it black and then super glued it to the side of his head to make it look like he's got hair. That's another really interesting thing. Don't you think Dick Dastardly and Waluigi kind of look the same? And I can't remember if someone on the internet actually said that um, Dick Dastardly was the inspiration for Waluigi or whether or not that was just a myth. I don't know. I don't know. You know what? I'm going to colour his gloves in red. I just remembered now, yeah. I think his gloves are actually red. I suppose it makes sense that his gloves would be coloured in red. I know, I know the top of his hat, I know his stripes here, they're red. Um, Why does it take me such a long time to colour the things in that I've just drawn and not like the other way around? <laughs> I don't know. Another part of his hat that comes out like that. That's red. You know what, I think I will just colour these pants in red. I mean, if it's wrong, it's wrong. You know, I've, it won't be the first time I've done something wrong on this channel. Um, really, really sorry if this is tedious to watch, guys. Um, I'm very nearly done. I just need to colour this in. Then I'm just going to colour his goggles in, and then that's it. That'll be uh, character done. I want some light blue and some white and some grey even. Oh, shit. That is coming along rather nicely if I do say something myself. And there we go. This is uh, a picture of Dick Dastardly. Just turn it on its side there, or whatever. Just, uh, yep, that's the full picture there. And uh, now for the part of the video where I compare it to an official um, piece of artwork of Dick Dastardly. So uh, here we go. Here's my picture here. And uh, go for this one here. Uh, this one again. This one here. Uh, mm, close enough. Yeah, yeah, c close enough. All right. So, uh, tell you what, we'll leave it there for today. Um, join me in the next episode where I attempt 
I don't really know what I'm going to be drawing in the next episode. Um, I suppose it'll just be a little secret for you. <laughs> um, I'm General Chaos, and I'll see you all later. Take care, everyone.